Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. And I'm super excited for today's video because we're doing something that I've never done before. I'm hiring three different interior designers to help me refresh my bedroom for the summertime. And after reviewing the designs, I'm actually gonna choose one to do a mini refresh on the space just to get started on my full room refresh. And currently my room is very warm tone and boho, which you guys know I love. But to change things up, I'm gonna ask the designers to create a more unisex mature look and my only request is that they use a sage green or olive green duvet and i'm going to admit this now but something about me is that i'm very particular especially when it comes to aesthetics like my style or my home decor but i thought this would be really fun to try out just to get an outside perspective and also to see a bunch of different ideas before i decide on what i do with my bedroom and really quickly i don't know if you guys noticed but i do have a new logo it's right here in the corner and i'm so in love with it it came out exactly how i wanted it to i'm kind of obsessed with it and i hope you guys love it too let me know your thoughts in the comments below on it i actually work with a graphic designer on fiverr to make it all come to life and today's video is sponsored by fiverr and i cannot wait to to see all the beautiful things that our graphic designers are gonna come up with. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my laptop and get onto Fiverr. Okay, so I have everything set up and here we are on Fiverr. If you guys aren't familiar with them, they are the world's largest marketplace for digital services. So you'll find a bunch of different freelancers for honestly anything that you can imagine. So at the top here, you'll see that they have graphics and design, digital marketing, writing, video animation, music, and so much more. And you guys know that I work in digital marketing, so I actually have used Fiverr fiber. <laughs> And you guys know that I work in digital marketing, so I have used Fiverr in the past at work. So I've used it before to work with voice actors as well as video editors, but this time I'm working on my own project, so that's super exciting to me. And we're just gonna go ahead and click on graphics and design. And then you'll see here they have so many things to choose from. And we're just gonna go ahead and click on architect and interior design. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and browse through and see all the different artists that they have. And my idea for this is to choose three different designers at different price points. So that way I can show you guys what your budget can get you. So I'm gonna send them photos of my room currently and then answer any questionnaires that they have, share some of my ideas on what I want my space to look like. And for each service, it will tell you the turnaround time and you can also expedite it so if you're ever in a pinch that's a great option so i just got finished contacting all of our designers and it was super user friendly and really seamless i'm super excited to see what they come up with and i will come back in one week to check back in with you guys all right guys so it's been about a week and i have all of the files from our designers i had brian put them all in a folder so i wouldn't see them and first up we have our 15 dollars mood board so let's go ahead and take a look at the first one Ooh! oh my gosh i really love the design it's super Super colorful and playful but yet still mature which is something that I asked for and one of the things that I specified was to use a green duvet cover because that's one of the best ways to just change up your space so they came through with that and I'm loving all the colors together I actually have that pillow I think that literally looks like the same pillow that I have but it's a square version and I love that I'm gonna look around more so this rug is super cute it probably is better than the one that I have because that one's not the best. <laughs> the floor mirror is perfect because it's similar to the arch one that I already have, so I can keep that. A wooden headboard, which totally looks DIYable, so I really like that. I also really love the whole shelf plant above the bed. That is a really fun idea. Ah, oh, so many good ideas here. They also suggested that I paint a third of the wall green, which is a really awesome idea. I really love how this looks all together. And then there's like giant art above. So that's also a really fun idea. There's so many just amazing things happening here. Overall, I think this is pretty close to my style already, but it is a little bit more elevated and has a lot more colors. And for a $15 budget for someone to come up with all of this and come up with the color palette and just put all these amazing items together, I think that is super worth it. I am super impressed. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at our second designer. The budget for this one was $50 and they provide a mood board as well as a mock-up. And for an additional amount, you can also get a shopping list, which is really awesome because you can actually shop the items that they chose out for you so let's go ahead and take a look <sighs> Ooh, i already like this 
primary bedroom boho brush up. Okay, that's very cute. That is like literally the exact green that I would like in my room. I'm debating between like a sage and an olive. So I really love that. Okay, and then we'll go to the second page, which is, oh, I love this. So it has like some of the pieces that I already have because obviously this is just a refresh. It's not a complete makeover. So I really appreciate that. And then I really love that she put in little notes for everything that she chose and why she chose it. They also said stuff about like, we love your lamp, pappas grass and the salt lamp. So that's really awesome that they're keeping in mind things that we already have so that we can reuse it for this room design. Oh my God, the layering on this is so good. This looks mature and still young and youthful and fun and has a lot of color still, which I really love. Uh, I'm in love with this. All right, so now we are at our last designer. This is with a $100 budget and this one is a 3D rendering and Brian already prefaced this and said that it looks amazing. So I cannot wait to see it. So let's take a look. Oh my God, how do they do this? That is literally my room like to a T. That is so awesome. Oh my gosh. I, I'm just so mind blown. I just don't understand how they do this. And this just looks so amazing and well put together. I really like what they did over here to separate the desk from everything else and just doing a little panel of gold. How did they literally get my same side tables? That is so crazy. And then the same exact table and the bed. Wow, 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 wow. Really love the whole vibe of this. It is definitely more mature and more unisex feeling, which I really, really like because that's something that I'm working on is trying to decorate not only for myself, but also for Brian. So this really gives me a good idea of that. I don't know how this is not a real photo. I'm gonna have a hard time choosing between these. Before we jump into redecorating, I do have a discount code for you guys. So if you wanna try out Fiverr, make sure that you click on my link down in the description box to get 10% off of your order. All right, so we're in my bedroom and you guys already saw some of the before shots. So I'm gonna give this space a little bit of a refresh just to closely match the second design. I really like that one. And I think that's the direction that I'm leaning this room towards. The first thing we're gonna do is change out the duvet. This just takes up so much space. Also, I need to take down the balloons. That's gonna be the first thing that I do. The bed takes up about half of the bedroom. So your eyes just totally go towards this beautiful color. But as I mentioned, I wanted to change to a green color. So I picked up this duvet by H&M and this is just such a beautiful color. This is cotton, which is different than what I have on my bed currently. I have linen on there. So even just changing up the textures on your bed is gonna make it feel brand new. I'm really loving it. Only problem is there are no ties inside. So it's a little bit more difficult. Don't put it that close to my face. The only problem is there are no ties in here. I don't know if that's normal for a duvet cover, but it is a little bit harder to put it on than usual. But for this color, I will sacrifice that. <laughs> This is already looking so good. I'm obsessed with this color. It's just so pretty. And I asked Brian what he thought of it and he loves it too. So I'm really happy. The next thing that I'm gonna change up are the pillows and I have a DIY, oh, that's upside down. I have a DIY one that I made and this one is black and white, so that's perfect. And then you guys know I have a bunch of these pillow inserts and these are a really quick and affordable option just to change up your pillows. So I have a bunch of different pillow covers in my collection, but I did pick up a new one and I got this one. This is also from H&M and I just love it because it's so graphic. And again, it has the black tones in it, but it also mixes in the neutral tones and it's just really nice, light and bright. It's also gonna do a really good job of tying in the rest of the neutral tones that I already have going on. <music> last thing that I'm doing in this mini refresh is just adding some new decor. So I have a bunch of different DIY decor that I've made in the past and I think they're gonna be perfect for this space. 
and you guys can see yourselves right there. So I'm just gonna style these up and reveal the mini refresh. Hello from voiceover Tina. So in this corner, I actually was gonna remove this DIY wall hanging that I made, but I totally forgot that I made that to cover this breaker panel. So this DIY definitely did its job, but I'm just gonna flip it over until I make something else that's gonna fit better with the new room design. And this works pretty well since it's very neutral. And although I love how my room is already, I'm really happy just to change things up. After being in the same space pretty much 24 seven, you just get bored of your space sometimes. And even though we're introducing new colors, I'm able to maintain my personal style by adding in a bunch of DIYs that I've done recently, like this textured painting. On the other side, I kept the thrift flip vase because it has to be one of my favorite projects on this channel. And I added a plant and a macrame coaster for a little pop of color. I also hung up our thrift flip mirror as well as the cane plant pot and these are really great to add in some black accents into the room to really tie in the designer's mood board. And in the end, we're able to bring new life into the space without having to completely redesign it, which goes to show that you can still make a big impact with a few small changes. I'm super happy with the end result and here's how it came all together. This was such a great start to my bedroom refresh and I could not have done it without Fiverr. So huge thank you to them. And if you guys are interested in trying out Fiverr, make sure that you click on my link down below and use my code to get 10% off of your order. I will also have the designers listed below as well. And I would love to know your thoughts on what you guys think I should DIY next for this room. It definitely has quite a bit to go for a full refresh, but I'm excited to bring you guys along this journey. So make sure that you guys stay tuned so you can see the full refresh. I'm super excited to hear your ideas and I'm just so happy with how the room is looking so far. And if you haven't already, make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I post on there every single day. And I, of course, will be having updates on the bedroom there. And that's it for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay inspired, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.